Kentucky and Duke have been fantastic so far. They haven't really played anybody, granted. However, I mean, Duke won by 50 tonight. Kentucky took care of Duquesne. Who has impressed you more, Kentucky or Duke at this point? Goodman, we'll start with you. I don't I, – I think Kentucky only because, I mean, again, it, it's one of those where Kentucky's been pl- – and I know Duke's been playing without guys too, Derek Whitehead and mm-hmm. – um, Lively came back tonight and, you know, didn't do a whole lot, but at least he got in the court tonight. You know, Kentucky to me, I just wanted to see how the pieces fit. They've obviously not had Oscar Shibley. They got yeah. Severe Wheeler back tonight. But I, my big thing is how is Cal going to play? What's the lineup going to look like? Because my biggest fear, and Rob knows this, was going into the year, Oscar, Wheeler, and uh, Toppin. Three in my opinion, still kind of non-shooters, non-spacers, right? Non-spacers. They can make shots at times, but they're not guys that, that you you can you know rely on to space a court. And then if you're going to play those three, is that your best lineup? Casey Wallace has proven he can make a three, right? CJ one for Frederick, one to be exact. What's that? He was one for one tonight, Casey yeah, Wallace. Yeah, I mean, he's not a great shooter. He's not. But I think teams aren't going under every time on him yet. They may eventually. They're not there yet. Right. And Reeves, I and it. Reeves and Frederick are elite shooters, elite shooters. And it, mm-hmm. to me, if you can play those two, if you play those two, to me, with Wallace, with Oscar, with one other guy, that's your lineup. That's your. You get those two shooters in there to space it. Because what are you going to do? You double Oscar, like. Good luck to you. Good luck if you got Reeves and CJ on the on the wings. Right. At the same time, you're going to pick your poison. I, I think it is good, though, that they have different ways that they can beat you this year, right? And they haven't had that in the past. So if you want to play those shooters, you can play those shooters. If you want to play a lineup where you have four guys that are long and athletic around Oscar Shibwe, you can play four guys that are long and athletic around Oscar Shibwe and just try to out-athlete people. And they, uh, they've they been able to do that in the past before, too. Um I've been I've been really impressed with the with with Duke though, right? And I know they really haven't played anybody, but the fact that they just come over here and st- come out here and just steamroll people in in games where it's like the first time freshmen are playing without Derek Whitehead, without Derek Lively in the first game, and like kind of without him tonight. Yeah, just they've been they've been just it's there's not even games, right? They were down seven nothing to to South Carolina Upstate, gave up thirty eight uh, thirty one points the rest of the game. Their, their ability to defend, I said this on the ACC preview show with, with RC and TO. Shire talked all preseason about how they need to be a defensive team. And I was like, how are they going to be a good defensive team? How is this going to work? Like, they don't have good defenders. Yeah. And you know what? They've given up uh, 82 points. Is that right? I, I yeah, just, 82 points. You know, in two games. I just and I know they're not playing anybody, but that's it. That's playing it. upstate. I just no, can't. I, no, I get it. I, I, trust me. I get it. I it's get like it. playing against, I don't know. Uh, you no, you could. I mean, you were Vassar. It's not you. I mean, Upstate would kick your ass. Yeah, they would. They would have beat us by fifty. Um, <laughs> but I, I do think when when it's not even close to competitive, right? When you're when it's very clear that those two teams shouldn't be on the same basketball court, I think that it says something because a lot of these other good teams are awesome. still. Uh, it's compa- like we're watching right now. Michigan is trailing Eastern Michigan. Yes. I know Eastern Michigan and Upstate are a different level, but that, that it, it was very, very obvious that Duke should not be on the same basketball floor as South Carolina Upstate. And we don't. How many times have we seen that with with? No, you're, you're right. You are right. There's something to be said about winning these bye games and and pounding the teams. But I want to see Duke Tuesday night. Like then, then I'll give yes. you a better assessment of Duke and Kentucky. Let me see him against somebody. I agree. It's also an interesting assessment of John Shire early because nobody is being watched closer from a national perspective than John Shire. You never want to follow up a legend. John Shire's taken on a really hard task. It didn't matter who was stepping into that seat. It's going to be an incredible, difficult task. I'm impressed with, to your point, Rob, the way Duke is beating teams by 50. They're supposed to. That That's what they're supposed to do, and they've gone out and done that so far. 